Hey girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. Today I'm here to talk about four must-haves for every plus-size Lolita. Um, I myself am a plus-size Lolita in many ways. Um, I am tall. I'm six foot one. I am bigger. I'm like a size... I don't know. I haven't shopped in a long time at real clothing stores, so I don't know, like an 18? This is in Canada. I know in Germany I'm like a medium or something. Like a medium large in Germany. And then, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'm plus size. And I got a big bust. So I've got a lot of plus size stuff happening. So without further ado, here's my four must-haves for every plus size Lolita. The first one um, is a corset. Now, I don't wear a corset every time I wear a Lolita because I do get things made to me, but for example, maybe you're having, maybe you've fluctuated in weight a little bit and it's gotten a little bigger, or maybe you're just, you just want to smooth out those edges when you are wearing a, a high-waisted skirt or something so it doesn't bow out. Um, so a corset is a definite must-have when it comes to this. It's hard to see that, I'm sorry. Um, it's also just kind of because I'm a horrible person didn't put away my corset right last time so yeah so essentially you want a waist training corset not a bustier you want something that is that has steel bones you don't want plastic boning or it'll blow out even worse so you want spiral steel bones preferably double spiral steel bones if you can get them uh, you can search online for corset places to get some in pretty inexpensive corsets, but expect to pay at least $100 if you're going to be wearing something that's not going to hurt you. Um, remember to season your corset. Remember to go gradually. Remember to not, if you can't breathe, it's too tight. And remember, if it hurts, it's too tight or it's in the wrong spot. So sometimes off the rack corsets won't work for everybody and that's just a fact of life like off the rack isn't going to work for everybody but the general rule of thumb is for an off the rack waist training corset it'll say on the thing how much it is a waist training corset usually has up to like a five inch reduction that's about an average like five to seven seven's like really intense but like five is about the average so what you want to do is take your natural waist and then take five away from it and that's what you should be getting for your waist training corset. Um, as you go down, even though your waist training corset, like, even though your waist, when you take it off, might be the same, you might be able to even go down a size further. Like, for example, when I got this corset, I was a 43 inch waist. Um, and that was before I went on my medication for my epilepsy. And I ended up gaining a lot of weight from my epilepsy medication that put me up to a 47 inch waist. I've been losing definitely now and I'm at a 44 inch waist again. But even when I wore, even when I was that 47, this corset, which is a 38 and upside down, so this corset's a size 38 off the rack, which means it's 38 inches around on the center waist tape. Um, so even when I was the 47 inches, I could wear this corset. I just couldn't close it all the way to be safe, like as a safety precaution. I could wear it to kind of smooth things out and kind of help that. And the great thing about corsets is it can help you create a natural, um, well not natural, <laughs> you're creating it, but like it gives you that hourglass figure even when you're not wearing it if you wear it a couple of days a week. Um, uh, same, similar to wearing binders, you don't want to wear this corset more than eight hours at a time um, because it can really hurt your ribs and stuff and all that fun stuff because I mean you're wearing this because you want to not because you have to and not because it's a social norm so that's my first must-have for any plus-size Lolita, is definitely a corset. 
of the waist training variety or even fashion variety, but you don't really need a fashion corset. It's going under your clothes. You're not going to see this. You're not going to see it. This is going completely under your clothes. So there's that. And my second must have, you might get a little confused with why I have this as well, is Spanx, pair of Spanx. And the reason I have Spanx on my list is, well, a lot of plus size Lolitas find it hard to find tights that fit, especially at the top, but like a lot of times the legs will fit. If you put those tights on and get them as high as you possibly can, your Spanx can help keep your tights on. Keep them from falling down, and even if they do inch their way down, you don't have to do the awkward, like, up the petticoat, like, lift your tights, because your Spanx are in place. They're going to help you keep them in place. Um, the Spanx also kind of hold your stomach in, which usually in Lolita is not a very big problem, but sometimes people have issues with it kind of, like, giving lumps in their petticoat. Uh, I don't have that issue myself. I mostly, again, use this to hold my tights up. But, yeah, so... Banks and lots of layers on your bottom half kind of helps with warmth too. First of all, warmth in the winter or helping with modesty, which is a big thing with Lolita, obviously. So you'd wear like your normal underwear, then your tights, then your Spanx, and then you'd wear um, bloomers or pajama shorts or whatever you have. Um, so yeah, second one, Spanx. Grab yourself a pair. Third must-have is really only for people with big chests. So, me. They don't look that big right now, but trust me, <laughs> when I wear not black, they're a little out there. And this one is a chest binder. I got this from FTM at Underworks uh, because I am a drag king as well. So I'm also a drag king, and I'm also genderqueer, if you didn't know this. Um, sometimes I just don't want boobs to be there. So I got this binder. Actually, my friend Jay bought me this binder as a gift. Yay! Yay, Jay. So this is the double front compression tri-top, so it ends under the bust, so it doesn't constrict your um, stomach in any way, because I find the compression tops restricting your stomach is a lot worse than corsets, because corsets you can at least unlace quickly or cut the laces to get them off quickly, but with these it's a lot harder. So I suggest getting the ones that only go to here. And yeah, so I like to wear this when I... I tend to buy blouses or OPs and stuff with my normal measurements, like my normal wearing just my bra measurements. Um, and then I will, when I get it, I will wear the compression shirt because... Well, the binder, because I've got a long torso too and sometimes they don't make it right or like it ends up being an underbust when it should be a regular waist but um, that just depends when I get the item I can kind of make that judgment call but I have my OP that like it does fit perfectly fine um, my favorite OP that I have which is red and it's got a little Peter Pan collar and stuff it fits fine with just a normal bra on but it really looks so much nicer and better and looks way more Lolita-ish if you wear the binder. So I definitely suggest any Lolita to get a binder. Um, as I said, I got mine at FTM at Underworks, but you can get them all over the place. Like I know that there's a lot of Chinese brands on eBay and stuff. Uh, maybe contact your local trans community or LGBT community and ask if they have any suggestions for getting binders. If you know any drag kings, it's also great. But um, in US and Canada, FTM at Underworks is a great place to buy, as I said. So that's great. And one big thing I do is sometimes is I wear the compression shirt and my corset. Like I wear the binder and a corset because then the binder will get the boobs flat. Because when I wear my corset, my boobs are just like, hello there. So binder kind of helps keep them in check. But if you're going to wear the binder, the corset, and the Spanx, you want to wear the binder first, then like your underwear, and then your corset well, binder, tank top, underwear, corset, and then you want to wear this over the corset so you can pull them down in case you have to pee. And last, but most certainly not least, every single plus-size Lolita, like who's tall, like a tall plus-size Lolita, 
should have underskirts. This is an absolute must have for any plus size tall Lolita or just even a tall Lolita because you don't want to show off too much because if you're small enough to wear brand dresses and you're like my height, which is 185 centimeters, six foot one, like you're going to have a lot of the upper leg peeking out and you don't want that. So you can get some underskirts or you can make them like I made these underskirts really easy. This is a bit of a shorter underskirt. This one is my French patisserie underskirt, which I did some half box pleats, like some partial box pleating, and then an elastic waist because this one just, this fabric just did not look right, just fully shirred. So I kind of pleated it, then shirred it. And then this is fully shirred, which looked okay with this fabric. Um, you're not gonna see these, so getting fully shirred is the best idea. Uh, cause you're not going to wear them, them as a skirt. It's your underskirt. Um, getting something in plain colors is best. Of course, like black and white, getting one black, one white would be a great starter option. But for me, this cream colored also works because it is actually a white background with the kind of brown teacups. So I find this goes well with all the skirts that I have, all well, the stuff that I have right now, except for my Phantom of the Opera one. However, the Angel of Music skirt, I mean. However, when I wear that, if I can pull my petticoat higher because it's a high-waisted skirt. So it's actually, the main reason I actually ended up getting underskirts was because my petticoat, I got a little too long. I got it about an inch long, like it's 25 inches and I should have got 24 or 23 inches. So I'll probably get another one next time and I'll have a long and short version. But yeah, so recap, underskirt. Spanx, binder, and corset. If you fetch these things and get them into your wardrobe, you'll have a much easier time getting dressed. Well, no, you'll have a harder time getting dressed, but things will just look a little bit better and you'll have an easier, you'll have a lot easier time finding things that fit you as a plus size Lolita if you get these things into your wardrobe. I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying it's my must haves as a tall plus size Lolita. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.